welcome to my rainy gloomy morning. I will keep the morning chat, the rundown of the day's events as quick as possible. So I'm having some tea. I have never been a big tea drinker, but these are so good. The Red Rose, I think I had discovered them because they were huge on TikTok mm, about a year and a half ago. Of course, none of the grocery stores, Walmart, nothing in my area had them. So I ordered the variety pack off of Amazon. The one I'm having this morning, Bananas Foster. You don't do anything except warm some water and then let it steep for like three to five minutes. These are already pre-sweetened. Good news, stevia sweetened. That's right, stevia sweetened, everybody should be happy. They're an herbal blend of tea, caffeine free, zero calories, so I'll just have to get in my caffeine some other way. Not sure exactly what is planned for the day as far as food goes. Chris is home. He will be included in today's meals or fasting, drinks, desserts, everything I do. I'm struggling this morning with how much information to give out. Chris was supposed to come home around this time because Kerrigan is getting ready to graduate again. He um, ended up coming home two days sooner. Not going to get into too much detail in this video because I'm still trying to process everything that happened and I'm still trying to get back on my feet. But a couple of days ago, I had a medical emergency. Chris got in the car and drove straight home. As I physically and mentally process everything that happened and I figure out exactly what happened, then I'm sure I will include it. But right now, I'm still struggling <laughs> wrestling around with it and trying to get everything straight there will be a chat i will pull chris out here and we'll sit down but i'm gonna head in and go look for some caffeine well it's not like i have a ton of choices i need a new energy drink that's not going to spike my blood sugar one that's easy to find and I don't need pre-workout, and this one doesn't have that. It's just 200 milligrams of caffeine, so give me your suggestions. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What's up? Nothing, I'm just sitting here, having a cup of coffee with collagen. And before I forget it, this is the perfect time to mention that right now, Perfect Keto is having their 4th of July sale. This is a site-wide sale, and it ends Wednesday, July 5th. The more you buy, the more you save. If you buy four or more, you're going to be able to take 30% off. The link in the description box for you, so all you gotta do is click on it. Just hanging out this morning, resting. Just hanging out. Trying to relax a little bit. Yes, being home to relax. What's the plan for the day? Well, my plan is to get out here and finish spraying all these weeds. <laughs> um, cut some yard work to catch up on? Yep. You know, before I head back. So, we're not sure if we're going to have breakfast or not today. Maybe we'll say we're dirty fasting today and just skip breakfast and do lunch, dinner, dessert, snacks, and all that. Sound Perfect. good to you? Sounds good to me. It's time for lunch, and Chris has yet to experience the Sola Bagel Pizza. An entire bagel is six net carbs. I'm going to slice it down the middle, half for me, half for Chris. On top of the bagel, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar-free marinara sauce, some pepperonis, and mozzarella. I'm going to put it in the air fryer for just a few minutes until the cheese is melty. As our side, we're having Caesar salad. And to drink, we're both having water. I'm Walter. What's that mean? Oh, you do look like Walter. Oh my gosh. Hello, and welcome to our chat. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's going to be a snack and sip and chat, but I have no idea what we're chatting about. Any ideas? 
Not really. So. No. So, what are you having to drink? I'm having Sprite Zero with vanilla almond skinny syrup. Was it always the vanilla that you put in it? Vanilla almond? It's whatever I've got handy. Oh, well, goodness knows we have an entire cabinet full. That we do. I know these are getting harder and harder to find in store, but you can order them online. And down in the description box, Jordan's Skinny Syrup has given us a discount. Water. Always water. Water, water, and more water. Can y'all hear the birds? I talk about how obnoxiously loud they are. That in New York, it's a whole lot early at 4.50 in the morning. Yeah, it's about 5 o'clock here. And then they shut up for about an hour, and then they start back. We are having a snack. And I found these in the snack drawer. I'm not sure how long they'd been there. <laughs> They're Ketonia. I don't know if we've ever tried any of their stuff. I feel like we have, but it's been a long time. Keto coconut macaroons. I'm pretty sure these came in the keto crate. No sugar added, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, low net carbs made in the USA, woman owned business, sweetened with erythritol and stevia. Five of these is considered a serving. Perfect. I hate that. One or two. <laughs> Nobody thinks one or two is a serving. A serving is going to be 120 calories, 11 fat, 15 total carbs, and three protein. One net carb. What? <laughs> For what? five, one net carb? I'm not going to be eating five of them. Well, let's see how big they are. Let's go ahead and open them up. They are in a resealable package. Does not smell coconutty. It doesn't? I think it smells very coconutty. Like Wait. Almond Joy coconut. You know how I feel about coconut, so. You eat coconut. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Grab you one out. They look all pretty and toasted on top. They're soft. They have little chocolate chips in them, too. Hmm. I think they smell amazing. The smeller's broke. Oh, gosh. Don't say that. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's coconutty. It's made out of coconut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Main ingredient, I'm sure. Yes, number one ingredient. Coconut flakes. I think they're good. The chocolate chips in them. Give them that little punch of flavor. Texture for me. The coconut. <laughs> He's not a coconut fan. You like the taste of coconut. You don't like the texture of coconut. No, I do not. Weird, I know, but... Ah like the texture the consistency and definitely the taste i would give them a 10 out of a 10 <laughs> and i usually don't give things a 10. it was okay to me i, I would give it a, an eight i'm definitely interested in trying some more of their products and it says on the back that they were founded by a veteran french pastry chef okay i'm gonna have to check out their other products and see what else they have so how long are you here for mm, four days so how is keto going while you're in New York this time around? I know you were struggling last time. Has it gotten easier? Yes, it has. Has I've it? I've been doing really good, yes. Good. Really good. I've dropped down six pounds and I'm staying on the, the keto like I'm supposed to. I mean, just- On the keto? <laughs> I'm staying on keto like I should. Keto chows, two meals a day. And then I have my, you know, meal in the afternoon. I only eat from about six to eight and then I stopped, so. Quincy wanted to get up here on my lap. He says hi. I don't even know what to talk about. I'm gonna try to get him in a couple of videos, but he's only home for a few days and we have so much going on. Graduation and Kerrigan's gonna be staying here one night. My list I, of stuff to do around the house that I see here that needs to be done. So Chris does now have a favorite meal. <laughs> You've already had it once today, and yet you're wanting it for dinner tonight. I do. So, are you having the same thing for dinner that you had for lunch? It's possible. I may have the same thing. I like it. The Sola bagels, and I just made like a big bagel pizza. There's so many other things we could do with those, though. You don't have to have a bagel pizza. We could do like a bagel sandwich, like a breakfast sandwich, or there's so many different things. What's for dessert tonight? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll make keto chow ice cream. We keep talking. Oh my God. I was just sitting here in my mind thinking I would like to have keto chow ice cream. I, s I kid you not. I swear. <laughs> it's been so long. I keep talking about making it, but for some reason we never get around to it. And it's not like it's a hard process. Sometimes I think we're on the exact same wavelength. I know we are. It's been 30 some years. We share the same brain. 33 together. 31 married. Right? No, 34. 
Long time. Long time. I, know. I guess we're going to call it quits. The chat was not long today because I physically have nothing to say. And apparently <laughs> you don't either. I mean, I understand. My brain's not functioning. I have an excuse. I'm just a loss for words. <laughs> today, I just, I just don't have anything to talk about today. I guess we will see you at the next meal. Not much going on here. But if anything special does happen, we'll jump back in. Absolutely. All right. It's getting late, so I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner. Chris is insisting on the bagel, but instead of doing pepperoni pizza bagel, I'm gonna do chicken bacon ranch. And to keep the carb count low, only using half a bagel. I added butter and Flavor God ranch seasoning. You already know that in this household, we are obsessed with Flavor God. They've gave us the discount code that's in the description box. I made a few pieces of the Real Good Foods lightly breaded chicken in the air fryer. I got these at Walmart, but I think they're at several different grocery stores now. A serving of these is only two net carbs. They're lightly breaded, crispy. They're really good. I crisped up a few pieces of bacon. This is the Black Label Fully Cooked from Sam's Club. When you put it on a paper towel, put it in the microwave for just a few seconds, it makes it extra crispy. Now to the bagel, I added some shredded cheese. I cut up the chicken and added it on top, crumbled up some bacon, and then I'm just going to continue that layering process and I'm gonna top it off with some more flavor God ranch seasoning then into the air fryer until everything is nice and melted I'm gonna throw a bag of the great value broccoli florets into the microwave when they're done I added butter pink salt and also some shredded cheese and this is what Chris's plate looks like you could even add regular ranch dressing to this if you wanted to use it as a dipping sauce or you could add sugar-free barbecue sauce. I decided against the bagel and I just went with a big bowl of broccoli, cheese with bacon crumbled up and some chicken. And to drink, you guessed it, we're both back to having some water. It's time for my favorite meal of the day, dessert. I'm gonna make some keto chow ice cream. This takes 10 minutes and it is so much cheaper to make keto chow ice cream than it is to buy ice cream at the store. Chris and I both decided that we wanted peanut butter ice cream tonight. I'm using my Cuisinart ice cream maker. I got this off of Amazon. Pretty sure it's linked down in the description box under my favorites if you wanna go see exactly which one I use. Put all of your ingredients in a blender or ninja first. The easiest way to combine everything so you don't have to worry about any clumps or chunks. I'm using silk almond milk unsweetened between 12 and 14 ounces. Four ounces of heavy whipping cream. Your keto chow flavor of choice today, the peanut butter. 1.8 net carbs. Sweeten it to taste. This is personal preference. You can use whatever sweetener you like. Give it a quick mix until there are no lumps. Now all I've got to do is just turn on my ice cream maker and then dump the keto chow inside. This is going to churn in that barrel for about 10 minutes and it's going to make a soft serve ice cream. It is best to eat this pretty much immediately because with any keto ice cream when you put it in the freezer it does have a tendency to get really hard like ice crystals concrete hard and I don't know about you but I like soft serve. This made two massive bowls of keto chow ice cream and we're going to take them outside sit on the porch and eat those while we enjoy our evening. It's 10 30. Chris is already headed to bed. He's wore out and I'm going right now. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And remember anything that I mentioned in this video, I'll have linked down below for you. Tons of discount codes and sales, some of my favorite keto items and things that have helped me along my journey. Okay, I'm heading to bed and I hope you guys have an amazing day.